Hello again, everyone. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to my son, Matt, again. This will be part three of what he feels the Lord has shown him from the scriptures prophetically. So, Matt? Um, <laughs> yeah, I just want to make something clear because I, I don't want people to misunderstand. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I was, when I was talking about the elect and all that, um, people in Israel can be, can be part of the elect. I'm not saying that there's not, but I, right. I was just trying to show that um, Jews and Gentiles are the elect. It's right. not just Israel. That's what I was saying. Right, exactly. That's what I was He's saying. not I preaching that. Yeah, replacement yeah. theology or anything. No, no, no. I, I just wanted to show that. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. But back where we left off, we left off at um, showing that the book of Revelation um, is not just for those who are left behind. Right. It's for all. It's for everybody who right. wants to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, who wants to uh, let the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit reveal things to them. Right, exactly. Um, prophetically. Mm -hmm. So that's where we left off. Um, so the sixth thing that I want to uh, show that the preacher rapture argues that, um, now this is true that we aren't appointed to wrath, mm -hmm. and I agree with that. Right. I agree that we're not appointed to wrath because it says in the Bible. Right. Um, exactly. But the preacher rapture takes that, and they will, um, when they say we aren't appointed to wrath, they will compare that to the Great Tribulation, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we have got to understand, right. tribulation and God's wrath are two totally, totally different, things. different things. They're two different exactly. things. Exactly, they're different um, things. And I'll even show you in Mark uh, 13, 19, Mm -hmm. On page 626 of my Bible, Mark 13, 19 says, <clears throat> now remember, in Matthew 24, he says, uh, for then shall be great tribulation. Right. And Mark 13 is basically just a parallel passage. And this would be after the abomination of desolation, yes. correct? And this is, mm -hmm. what, this is what he says. Right. For in those days shall be affliction, such was not from the beginning of the creation which God created, until this time, neither shall be. So Matthew says tribulation, and Mark says affliction. Right. So tribulation can be defined as affliction. Exactly. Or in Matthew 13, uh, 21, mm -hmm. Matthew 13, 21, uh, Matthew defines it also as, he, ye, Yet he hath not root in himself, but dureth for a while, for when tribulation or persecution right. ariseth because of the word, by and by he's offended. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. exactly. tribulation can be either defined as affliction or persecution. Exactly. And we all know as Christians that has nothing to do with wrath. That has right. nothing to do with wrath. Right. Um, that's just part of what we go through as Christians is exactly. tribulation. So you're saying so basically God's Jesus, wrath and persecution slash tribulation is not are not the same they're thing. They're not the same thing at all. Mm -hmm. Because God's wrath is when he's pouring down all those plagues on the earth, all those who do not have the seal of, of God. Of God, exactly. Um, and tribulation is basically, what he's basically saying is, at that time there shall be great persecution right. or great affliction. Right. Um, that can be uh, being put to death for the Lord, Lord's name's sake. That can be, uh, you know, being put in jail. Right, right. It can be a wide wide range of things. Wide range. And persecution yeah. can be a wide range of things. It can be made fun of. It can just be laughed at for the Lord's name's sake, or it can be put to death for the Lord's oh, name's sake. Yeah. Isn't, oh, yeah. But okay. that it's basically tribulation and God's wrath mm -hmm. are two totally different things, and uh, people have to understand that. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's a, it's a really big thing that people have yeah, to understand. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, and the last thing uh, that I want to show the preacher rapture argues is that um, pre-tribbers believe that the rapture is different than the second coming of Christ. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I just want to show you guys, from what the Lord has shown me, um, that the second coming of Christ and the rapture are actually the same simultaneous event. Mm -hmm. Because if we look in Matthew 24, the disciples ask him, uh, this is Matthew 24, 3. Mm -hmm. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world. Did they ever ask about a rapture? Mm -mm, no. Did they ever ask about a gathering of the be with God? Mm -mm. They asked, What will be the sign of your coming right. at the end of the age? Mm -hmm. They, they, I don't even know if they knew about a galaxy of Christ. Right. They just asked, what will be the sign of your coming? Right. This mystery that Paul talked about, about being gathered to the Lord in the air, they weren't even talking about this right then. They were saying, they were, cons they they were, were asking. asking this question as if they were still going to be physically on the earth and wondering what would be the sign of his coming back to earth. Because notice how they never ask about a gathering together with us. They don't say, right. what will be the sign of us being gathered together Together with in the clouds in the air. They, weren't, yeah, they, they say, were what saying, what will be the sign of your coming? And as right. Christians, we know there's only one second coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. And what does Jesus describe at his coming? Immediately after mm -hmm. the tribulation, 
After the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the, coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven mm -hmm. to the other. Mm -hmm. Once I again, can't wait. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. So once again, I ask, what will be the sign of your coming? And mm -hmm. at at his coming, he right. describes right. Exactly. the gathering together or the right. rapture at his coming. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. the rapture and the second coming are the exactly. same simultaneous event, yeah. one event. Mm -hmm. Exactly, I agree. Mm -hmm. So in in point, my my point is, if you're a preacher believer, you believe in three coming of three comings of Christ, which is in biblical. Mm -hmm. exactly. Because the Bible, the Bible talks about the second coming of Christ. Right. It doesn't talk about um, three comings of Christ. And doesn't it, Paul say that Christ will appear a second time for those who are looking for Him? Exactly. Mm -hmm. it does, so the rapture and the second coming are the exact same thing. Simultaneously. As, 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 as the same as, as proven in right. Matthew 24. I agree. Um, mm -hmm. So basically, those are all of the. Uh, mm -hmm. All of the arguments, all of the main arguments that the preacher rapture uses, I, I imagine there might be more, um, but the, I know these are the main ones. And I just want to show all of you that um, all of this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have used all scripture. I have not used any man-made interpretation. I have not used any of my own interpretation. Good. I'm literally reading straight from scripture and what it says. Exactly. And you cannot argue against the word of God. Mm -hmm. Now, once again, I'm not I'm not doing any of this to cause argument or division. No. I don't want to come off as uh, as calling preachers a fraud. Right, I don't want to come right. off as that because I wouldn't want someone calling me a fraud. Right. Well, right. I'm, exactly. I'm simply right. saying. Mm -hmm. All I'm simply saying is I'm trying to show all of you. I'm trying to plant a seed that it's proven in Scripture. The original preacher rapture. Mm -hmm. That it's a post tribulation rapture. Right. Um, right. And you know I can't convince you guys. I know that I can't. Oh, yeah. we, we, I know that I can't convince anybody. I um, am supposed to plant a seed and let the Lord do the convincing. Right. And like I said in the comment section below, mm -hmm. if you want to share something from mm -hmm. your point of view, yeah. I'm fine with it as long as you share it with respect. Yeah. Because the Lord doesn't want arguing. Mm -hmm. um, but just the final thing that I want to do, um, just to show that no matter what generation you're in. No matter, no matter if you're Jew or Gentile, mm -hmm. no matter, it, as long as you're in the body of Christ, I just want to show you that we will be going through tribulation. Yeah. So, Romans 5, 3, now on 702 of my Bible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so, Romans 5, 3 states, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, yeah. also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to Very we're good. supposed to be we're supposed to glory in tribulation. We're supposed to be yeah. happy in tribulation. Right. We're not supposed so we will go through tribulations. We will, right? We're supposed to be we, we glory in tribulations. Mm -hmm. So that's in Romans five three, uh, Acts fourteen twenty two, Acts fourteen twenty two says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must. Through much tribulation, mm -hmm. enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So what it's saying is, yeah. it's not saying that we'll never enter through tribulation right. into the kingdom of God. It's, not saying, all of it. it's mm -hmm. not saying that we're going to be out of here before tribulation enter the kingdom right. of God. What it's right. saying is, we must enter through much tribulation, right. enter into the kingdom of God. Right, exactly. So right. We, we will face tribulation in the kingdom of God. Um, and even mm -hmm. on John 16, even in John 16, 33, on page 671... John 16:33 states, and Jesus, Jesus is talking here. Okay. Mm -hmm. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. Mm -hmm. In the world ye shall have tribulation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So Jesus is saying, yeah. And I'm paraphrasing, but right then and there, he's saying, if you're in me, sure, you're oh, gonna yeah. have peace, but you will you will also face tribulation. Right. You're not going to get... He never said you'll be scared right. of tribulation. He says you will have tribulation. Right. But he's saying be of good cheer. I've overcome right. the world. I, I, and I think another misconception about uh, the preacher of gathering to the Lord is also 
uh, when the Lord says, I will keep you from that hour of trial that will come upon the whole world, uh, he's not talking about removing you from the world. When you are kept or preserved, it means through something. It means God says, when you are in the furnace, when you go through the furnace, I will be with you. When you the deep water, you're in the deep waters, they will not overcome you. To be kept from something doesn't mean that you're going to be taken out of it. Mm -hmm. When or Jesus, to escape from right, something. Right, right. When escape. Jesus prayed in the garden, he said, Father, I pray not that you take them out of the world, but that you would keep them from the evil one. Here's that word, to keep from, yes. as is used in Revelation. It doesn't mean remove you from the world to be kept from the tribulation or from the great tribulation. It means that he'll preserve you through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I, and I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean here. Right, not, we're not doing I'm this not, to be divisive, so please don't. I'm please trying to be humble. And sisters, don't take this the wrong way. We're being humble, and I'm saying uh -huh. this with respect. But right. This is what I this is what I mean by man made interpretation. Mm -hmm. uh, it says in the Bible, I'm going to paraphrase, but it says, "Pray that you may be worthy to escape these things." Oh, and a point. lot of people will say that. Good point. Yeah. Now, with all okay. due respect. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by man, that's what I mean by man-made interpretation when people say right. the word escape means rapture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where does right, it say exactly. that escape means rapture? Right, I agree. And I'm saying that with the uttermost respects. Exactly. But since when does escape mean rapture? That's mm -hmm. what I mean by man-made interpretation. Mm -hmm. um, escape means right. to flee. Yeah. Pray that you may endure to the yes, end. Endure to the and end. It even says right. in Matthew. Um, uh, those who endure till the end shall be saved. Mm -hmm. it's, and I'm paraphrasing, but endure. You're supposed to endure. Mm -hmm. You know, in in, in, in the Old Testament, like um, all throughout history, for example, Noah and his family, they faced persecution or tribulation because <clears throat> they're Christians. Yeah. But they endured through God's wrath. They weren't raptured out of the mm -hmm. earth when God's wrath right. came on the earth, a flood. Right. Um, they weren't raptured out. Right. They, he endured through Right, God provided um, a way to keep them. And and through. Moses and the Jews, they faced tribulation. Mm -hmm. They didn't escape tribulation. But when God's wrath came on Egypt, they God provided a way, so they endured through it. it. Exactly. You know, they endured through it. They didn't get raptured out. Exactly. And I know I know a lot of people mm -hmm. might be like, but um, how are we gonna how are we gonna survive mm -hmm. this if God's wrath is being poured on the earth? Mm -hmm. Noah probably thought the same thing. If you were told that there's a flood coming on the earth. You'll probably be like, well, don't I have to be raptured out of here? Yeah. Like, nope, God right. provided the way. Provided same with right. same with Moses and the Jews. They're probably like, well, do you think how are we gonna how are we gonna get through this? Right. God provided right. a way. Right. How God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. How will it be any different? How, right. Exactly. He'll take and care of us during that time. Exactly. So I just want to show all of you mm -hmm. that um, mm -hmm. through Scripture, just by using Scripture, mm -hmm. it shows, and I'm saying this with the uttermost respect. That there is no pre trip rapture, and that it's a post tribulation rapture. Mm -hmm. And for my next video, I, I just I would just like to show, um, from the best of the knowledge that the Lord has shown me, what I believe is the uh, chronological order of the seven years. Oh yes, that's um, very good. Chronological order of the seven years. <laughs> from the book from, of Daniel, I believe. Yeah, yeah, from what the Lord has shown me. Um, course, now, could I be yeah. wrong? Yes, of course I can right. be wrong. Because we're all still but, learning. And yeah, we're all still learning. I don't want to be prideful and say I'm I'm 100 percent right because right. the right. Lord says to go back and check. Right. And I want I want all of you to go back and check these scriptures mm -hmm. to make sure exactly. that what I'm teaching is right. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. And once again, I'm saying this with the uttermost respect. That's and all. That's all I have to show for this. Of course, um, the Lord said that He warned us of all things beforehand, so we would not be offended and fall away. And I just don't want I don't want people to. Be scared when that day comes. Right. We just have a burden to yeah. alert the church so you're prepared. Yep. In love. Yep. We're saying this. So, Okay. All right. All right. We Thank will you. see you for what will it be? Part four? Part four. Part yep. four. Thank you.